So welcome to the seventh and deciding game of the NBA's Eastern Conference Championship, the Philadelphia 76ers versus the Boston Celtics. Boston Guard, 76th consecutive sellout. Andrew Tony, he has to hit today for Philadelphia to have a chance, really. And at Philadelphia by six, make it seven. Seven minutes remaining, first period. Caldwell Jones setting up on high. Tony gets loose away from Carr for the moment. And Andrew Tony with a looper from the baseline. Kevin McHale, who's averaged over 15 a game. Tony, basket, no, but the foul, yes. And it's on David Gerald Henderson. Double teaming Julius. They double team Tony in a foul. That's exactly what Boston wants to do. They figure that Irving and Tony are the two main guns for Philadelphia. And they will double team them every time they put the ball on the floor. Leading with six. Four other players with four. Long range, Andrew Tony with 14 points now in this first quarter. He's had last year. Celtics one by one after trailing three to one. They've come back from three to one in this year's series two. Julius Irving trying to get in the column, hits the outside shot. Any seconds remaining in the first half. Scoring has tapered off quite a bit after a sort of a high scoring first quarter. And Julius Irving going to the hoop, getting started now with two baskets, one outside and one inside. In takes that defense, uh, offense out, makes the start higher. And so the shot they get is not as easy a shot like that one. <laughs> Julius Irving on the break. Four minutes to play. Steal, Tony. He's got Irving and Cheeks. Irving. Basket counts and a foul. Julius Irving. And good to win. You're hated. Philadelphia by five, nearing a minute and a half to go first half. Tony against Ford, banks it in, he's so quick. His cheeks are three on one. Maurice cheeks to Julius Irving. Smooth as silk for Julius. <laughs> Inside to Julius, block. Well, Julius has pretty good position there, but. 25 block shots and Julius Irving hits the jump shot. 7.45 to go in the third. Eight point lead. And a foul, Maxwell on the elbow. Third on Maxwell, fourth team foul on the Celtics, and Julius Irving will shoot. Tony, Sixers have been in this position before, and elected in this tough role with Tiny out of there. Andrew Tony hits from the baseline, so it looks the team will tell you that. Harris now with 13 points. Tony from the corner hits again. Well, he is on the mark. Celtic turnovers this period. Bill Fitch says 16 is good for a game. They have seven this period, and Tony runs in and draws the foul. It's the fifth team foul on the Celtics with 102 to go, and he'll go to the line to shoot a pair. He's inside. And he now makes Bantam has position inside. Julius Irving from the corner. Baseline shot right now at 10. Three seconds. Julius, long range bomb is good at the buzzer. Finds the open man, Henderson, steal by Irving. Julius has Clint Richardson, but takes it himself, and a foul. Still has nine, missed them both. Cheeks coming back in. Andrew Tony over Maxwell. Basket counts and a foul. Andrew Tony, who has 26 points. Now 28. Shooting club, too. Julius Irving, he has found his shooting eye from outside in this game. He has 23 points, and Fitz wants a timeout. Lee, Irving, what a pass and what a play. Julius Irving, Henderson with 12. Ainge all over Tony. Tony going up anyway, hits the shot. And Cheeks in Philadelphia gaining confidence by the second here. Andrew Tony inside with a back shot. And Philadelphia is coming on, and now timeout. And a turnover, and that can kill you at this stage. Richardson to Julius. And they'll call a foul on Boston. On the elbow. And ahead of the field is Andrew Tony. And the Philadelphia 76ers are going to be on their way to the World Championship Final. Says I'm tired about hearing last year. And we'll have a foul on Boston. That's the only thing they can do. Birds fourth. But like you said, Bill, they've got to hit the free throws. And Julius on the line shooting one of the pass. And that's going to be it. The Philadelphia 76ers are in the dressing room on their way. They have won the Eastern Conference Championship, 120 to 106 in a shocker over the Boston Celtics in a game that no one thought the Sixers could win.